This is your boy Kenneth Wayne. What's going on, y'all? We're Clifton Powell. Joshua Jenkins of the Jenkins Brothers. Y'all know what it is. I'm your man's Nets here, Ryan. Talking with the lunch table. The lunch table. The lunch table. Love y'all. Good evening, everybody. I'm your host, and I go by the name of King Mace. We are here at the First Baptist Church of Glen Arden here in Prince George's County to see the premiere of Sinners Wanted, written and produced by brothers Jimmy and Joshua Jenkins. It's going to be a great night. Stay tuned. This film, you know, it's about saving souls. It's about unconditional love. It's about so many things. So it's, it's important to show to the community, inside the church and outside. Nobody's perfect, of course, but we know that millennials, most of all, are, like, not willing to come to church because they feel judged at some point. So we want the millennials to be drawn to the church. Guys, I'm here with the main character of the movie Centers One and Mr. Kenneth Wayne. Can you tell me how hard was it to get into the character of being a pastor who's in love with a prostitute? Oh man, it, it was, I'm, I'm a pretty loving guy so it wasn't that hard, you know, to play that, that character that, that shows that unconditional love. The main, I say the hardest part was, you know, Playing a pastor that that had to connect with a judgmental congregation. I didn't really grow up in a church necessarily, so just kind of digging in and, and learning more about how a pastor works and uh, connects with his congregation. That was the hardest part for me. The hardest part about playing this role was basically knowing that it's a Christian film. You have to bring a different type of sense to it because you know other films, you know, you could do the cussing and all that, but because it's a Christian film, you know, you have to bring it a different way. When we're here today, we're celebrating the talent of Prince George's County and saying to the world that we are the salt and the light of the earth. Isaiah, can you tell me how old you are? I'm eight years old. Eight years old. And was this your first film? No. What other films have you been in? Do you know? Um, this movie called Breeze Big Up Challenge. That's awesome. What was your favorite part about filming this movie? My favorite part about filming this movie was all the actions that happened. We're here with Mr. Clifton Powell. Can you tell us what it meant to you to film this movie in your hometown of D.C.? Oh man, I can't even put it into words. It's always great to come back home. This is where I started. Uh, workshop for Careers and Yards. Grew up in Mayfair Mansions in Parkside, Kenilworth area. And um, just, just blessed, man. You know? We also want you to guys to know is that we want to wish a happy birthday to Mr. Clifton Powell today. Thank you, everybody. No problem. So you are the executive producer. Yes, yes. Hey, y'all. What inspired you to just jump on board with this? Because you're a boss. You do everything. So what inspired you? So when Josh and Jimmy came to me with the script, it literally, I think I was on page 20, and I was like, I'm it. I love this. I want to see this go to the big screen. And that's what we did. Hands down, the toughest project I've ever been a part of. But, I mean, the learning, the growth that I've had, the opportunity to be, be a part of something with the Jenkins brothers, just unreal, unreal. Well, Cole Stevens has been a salon. We've been around for 17 years and we strongly believe in committing into our community. So when the two Jenkins brothers came to us and they said they're doing this project, I said, what a great thing for our community. We wanted to definitely jump in and support these young brothers. Can you tell us, what was your favorite part about writing and producing this movie? It was with my brother. That's very fun. favorite part. And can you tell us, what do you want people to feel when they walk out of here? Uh, God's love. God's love. I want them to feel God's unconditional love. Uh, that he has for us, no matter where we come from, what we've done, God loves us. Know that regardless of what you've done in the past, he always forgives you. To be honest, uh, I'm an emotional guy. I cried during the edit. Uh, it touched me, and I, I hope that if it touched me, it could touch other people. Love, love should be spread no matter where you come from, no matter who you are, man. It's just, life is too precious to just be judgmental and, and, and hateful of, of people that, especially that you don't understand. So that's, that's what I want people to really walk away. Just, everybody just needs to love everybody just a little bit more. Where can people go and get the tickets and buy and support? Go to centerswanted.com to be able to get tickets to support us and to find out, you know, down how to download it and all of that. And then you can follow me on social media at CEO Azarel. That's A Z A R E L. Thank y'all so much. Make sure y'all watch Centers And so that's what me and my brother want to do with our message, with our film. We want to take Bible stories and we want to transform the present day so that people that don't understand the Bible can understand it through a modern day story.
was your reaction after seeing the movie Sinners Wanted? I really enjoyed it. It was an awesome movie. It was well put together. And I'm just crazy about finding out, you know, what's the next thing they're going to come out with. Like, I feel like everybody needs to invest in their youth to really come in and see this because there's so much hopelessness going around. So many people feel abandoned and not wanted, bro. But if they can come to an awareness, bro, and God's love is real, bro, and it's all what it's about, bro. So definitely yeah. important sure. to invest in Sinners Wanted. Can you guys give me your favorite character in the movie? Yeah, of course, it's Clifton Powell, one eye, crazy, just so many things he said and done. But he was like, freak, freak your dick. Like, it just took me out of here. I love the whole movie. I can't even pick one. I can't even pick a favorite. Everybody was excellent. It was a great night. The movie was amazing. 8,000 people were in attendance to see it. You got to go see it. Magic Johnson Theaters, March 22nd through the 24th. Centers want it. I'm your host. Till next time, you're checking in with the lunch table.